and welcome back to another video so in today's video we're going to be going through every single gta 5 rp server that i have ever played on and made a series on and giving them a rating talking a little bit about their features my time on the server as well as my personal experiences with the server where the server is currently at nowadays if it's still actually like a server that's running or if it currently has been shut down and at the end of each server review giving the server a rating out of 10 and again the reasoning why i gave it that rating so today again we're gonna be taking a little trip down memory lane talking about all these servers i've played on all the way going back to eclipse rp over in 2019 so we have uh, quite a little bit of history again i have been rping and making videos now for about five years which is a little crazy to say that it's been about five years at this point honestly it doesn't feel like that it's it's just been super long time making these videos and anyone who's stuck around since those early series and has seen me grow and develop on the channel i appreciate each and every one of you again it's been kind of a lifelong goal to do the whole youtube thing so i appreciate everyone who has been supporting me along the way but again we're gonna be going through each and every server i've played on today it should be a little bit of a good time and hopefully some of you guys who've been watching since the beginning will remember some of the moments that i talk about as a lot of them were uh, quite a lot of fun and very very memorable for me but again let's get right into it starting off with the first server that i've ever played on for rp and that is going to be of course eclipse roleplay all right again starting off with my first time playing rp at this point i don't even remember how i initially got into gta rp i just remembered that i think i had just dropped out of college at the time i got home and i was like you know what i want to play a new game that i can sink a ton of time into have some fun on you know do this do that interact with other people as well and somehow i ended up getting into gta rp finding the eclipse rp server ended up joining there and having quite a bit of fun and i remember at the time i believe i was just making like random videos here and there on i think like csgo i think i made some on overwatch even one or two on fortnite and i figured you know hey i'd try gta rp try and record a video see maybe if it does well or not at this time gta rp was not a super super huge thing it's still when it was still in like the early developments there weren't a ton of people playing it it wasn't very popular in media and i you know just wanted to give it a go see if it'd do all right on youtube and i remember i went to sleep after uploading the first video on eclipse rp i woke up to a thousand views and i knew of course this is what i was gonna do for probably the indefinite future and here i still am again five years later still making gtrp videos it has been a super unique experience and i really don't think any game can kind of come up to the level of gtrp with the amount of different experiences you can have the amount of people you can meet and the amount of scenarios you can get into now again as i showed from the start talking about eclipse we have about 95 videos i made on eclipse ranging about over the course of a little over a year so it was quite a crazy time i didn't actually realize till looking through this that i made that many videos on eclipse but it was a ton of fun to do at the time and again i was just figuring out youtube so hopefully some people were you know understanding of my starting struggles in both the editing as well as the recording side but again we had a ton of fun over there we joined a numerous amount of gangs i remember we started off with the seaweeds which is kind of just like this hoodlum gang of a bunch of fun guys and we went around doing this or that eventually we got ourselves caught up in a little bit of a war we ended up not, not wanting to pay tax to some of the biggest gangs on the servers and soon of course our whole entire gang was disbanded we then joined i believe the wanted which was this racing gang and i thought it was super cool we ended up doing tons of like late night races together we would do like 30 person races sometimes uh they would have like little initiations to get ranked up or you'd have to race one of the higher up gang leaders it was a really really cool gang i remember eventually we ended up getting into a ton of drama which was actually really fun to record and edit i still remember tearing up editing some of the stuff with the whole wanted stuff as it was very very drama based series and was honestly really really cool we had like a whole secret organization like stalking us and people that we thought were traitors and the whole gang split into two 
it was really really cool rp some of the best i've ever been a part of but soon after that of course the gang ended up falling apart we ended up leaving the gang um honestly it was all a ton of rp and great rp from everyone involved and had a ton of fun with them but also during the time that we were in wanted i remember at one point we even tried to do a prison break which i don't really think had been really done too much on the server at the time and it was pretty much all done through slash me so it was very very old school and i don't think you would really see too much like that nowadays we had to get like approvals from the admins to do a prison break and all of this but it was a really fun time i don't even remember if we got out or not but i do remember trying to do a prison break on there and i believe that video is still up somewhere if you do want to go watch it but again, after the whole wanted stuff was gone, we ended up joining a group called the Rooks, which was more of a kind of secret organization that kind of hid in the shadows. They didn't really like people knowing their name or at least seeing them outside and like having an actual idea of where we were, where we operated, who we were or what we did. And it was a very different experience from the previous two gangs I was in. Again, this was more of like a secret underground organization type deal and it was honestly a ton of fun. Unfortunately, we ended up leaving them, I think, after quite a bit of time i don't really remember the reason why at this point but honestly the rooks had again some of the best rp that i've ever had on any server same with most of the gangs on eclipse uh I, if i remember correctly i believe you needed to show rp and like the forums and stuff to actually get your gang become official and you get a bunch of more perks when you became official so it really promoted people having really good rp and kind of showing off that rp in different ways and of course with that helped a ton with the content since everyone was really focused on actually doing good rp it made for some really really cool storylines and allowed me to make a really cool series in my opinion of it again of course we did a bunch of stupid stuff as well while we were playing i remember we played with um some notable people such as casper if you remember him or big b or bob um bob Berger. there was there was a ton of people um i couldn't list them all there's literally probably hundreds of different people i met on that server that i had a wonderful time with had a ton of different fun stupid stuff happened with as well and then i believe at the end of near the end of eclipse we finally joined another gang called the dojin kai which was run, run by a friend i believe he now goes by nez and he actually runs his own 5m server now i believe called vital rp but it was a ton of fun over there we had a lot of cool rp focused in like a little dojo and kind of had that vibe with the gang and was kind of a not strict i would say necessarily i said it was pretty strict but more of like a family style gang where there were ranks and everything but everyone kind of work together and eventually after playing on eclipse for quite a while and i don't th i think we had left dojin kai before this happened but i was banned after making i think a video or something accusing the admins of allowing racism to happen on the server which definitely happened on the server at the time i don't know if i had explained it the proper way or if i was just a little angry about the server or something at the time again i was quite young i was around 19 at the time when i did make that video so it wasn't exactly the most mature and i definitely did not explain i think stuff in the most clear and concise way when i was making that video so not sure how the server is nowadays i've heard good and bad things about it but honestly that was about it for eclipse rp now to give it a little bit of a rating it's a little bit of a hard one since i didn't actually agree too much at all with the admins or the owners of the server and the thing is that's not really what made eclipse special to me what made eclipse special was the people who played on the server and the people in gangs that interacted with each other's there was again huge gangs like the zetas who literally controlled pretty much the whole server along with some other big gangs and then there was a ton of different gangs for different things there was motorcycle clubs there were like clowns I think I actually remember playing with Chatterbox back in the day. I think that was him on that server, which of course, if you guys know him since then, he's done amazing stuff over on no pixel and has become super popular on there. So congrats to him, of course, but yeah, um, overall, I think that the RP and everything made the server probably a 10 out of 10, but the admins, I would say, and stuff had lowered it down to a nine or eight. So overall, I'm going to give Eclipse RP an 8.5 out of 10, just because, again, the RP on there was so amazing. It was my first RP server at the time. I was able to get super immersed and, of course, have an amazing experience over there, learning the ropes of RP, as well as delving into some of the gang stuff, as well as more in-depth RP than I'd ever been a part of. But with that, we are now going to move on to the next server, which is going to be Mafia City RP. 
So again, now talking about Mafia City RP, what makes the series stand out compared to a lot of the other series or pretty much every other series on this channel is that for this one, I went completely legal. We did nothing illegal for again, all 54 episodes of it, which again may have been boring to some people, but I thought it was something a little bit different from the usual crime that I was doing over on Eclipse and wanted to try something that was a little bit different, see if it would work on YouTube, see if it would work for myself, see if I I enjoyed it and see what kind of RP I could make out of it. Again, this is right after we got banned from Eclipse. We ended up going over to Mafia right when I believe it released. And again, looking back at those videos, as well as the Eclipse ones, the scripts pack then were just not up to par with anything over on 5M. So it was definitely a little bit of a struggle but they had some really really cool features over there um i believe they had a whole business and corporation thing we actually ended up making a corporation i believe called 12 gauge which eventually we ended up owning a ton of businesses with uh it was me and a bunch of other people and i believe we owned like i think two dealerships we owned some a mechanic shop maybe if i remember correctly uh we owned a bunch of houses that we would try and sell here and there uh honestly overall was just a ton of fun i remember doing a lot of the car dealer RP and as dumb as it sounds I actually had a ton of fun of it I remember hosting I think we hosted a bunch of uh, different events we hosted a ton of different car shows uh, I believe that at one point we hosted a car show that had like tons of people at it and we had like cops come to it and like try and break it up and stuff and like a whole drama thing went over with that overall it was a really fun server to be a part of and definitely something a little different going on the legal side of it and again coming right from Eclipse Mafia had a lot a little bit less toxic community although once the gang started warring of course you know war leads to a little toxicity oh see so it is what it is there but overall mafia city was a ton of fun again a little bit of a different take on rp since most of the series out there as well as all the series that i've made on rp have all been criminal series so it was fun to do something a little bit different but at the end of the day mafia was definitely more of a i would say economy server where again there was still a ton of rp everywhere to be found but it was a lot more focused on the economy making money buying businesses etc etc and was overall though a lot of fun i really really had um some great memories on there with a lot of very notable people that at the time and a lot of people that i had a ton of fun with but overall that was about it for mafia not a ton to say there we didn't have any crazy story arcs um i remember at one point i told myself i'm gonna make a video every day for 30 days and i ended up doing it but it almost killed me and almost completely destroyed my youtube channel i almost quit because my mental was not exactly the best after making again a video every single day for 30 days was a little bit of a challenge but i ended up doing it at some point but i think that's about it for mafia again i had a ton of fun over there but unfortunately due to both the scripts as well as me being a completely illegal character there wasn't a actual ton of stuff to do on the server besides events and of course talking to other people at this time again rage mp which is what this server was of course on was not exactly the most developed so there weren't a ton of scripts and a ton of stuff to do so you kind of had to make the fun on your own but I think that's about it for Mafia. Honestly, I would give it probably a 6 out of 10. There weren't really a ton of features on the server. We kind of had to make our own fun. But overall, it was a ton of fun to play on still. And again, a little bit different going on the legal side. But again, these next ones are going to be a little bit shorter. As again, these are a little bit shorter series and not a ton to talk about in them. But again, some of them were did go on for quite a while as well, such as the JRP series, which we'll get into later. But again, that's going to be about it for Mafia City RP. Going to give that a 6 out of 10. Could have definitely used a little bit more features, but the people, again, same with Eclipse, made it a very fun server. The next server we're going to, of course, talk about is my first experience with 5M, and that is going to be Limelight RP. Now, I remember for the longest time ever since I was on Eclipse and heard about 5M, all that I was told from literally every single person on Rage MP that I talked to was 5M was just full of RDM, no RP, VDM, and just people acting like idiots. And there was really no good RP on those servers. So I really didn't try them out for a while, but after getting bored, I believe with Mafia City, I was like, you know what? One night I was like, screw it. I'm going to test out 5M and I found this server called Limelight and I was like okay let me join it and within literally two seconds of checking out the UI and seeing how stuff worked 
I was hooked and I knew that I had not wasted my time on Rage MP, but I had been somewhat missing out on 5M. Now, of course, there were at the time, I believe, only a player cap of, I think, 64 on most of the 5M servers at this time. So it was definitely a lot less players than what I was used to. But having like a cool IRL cars at the time before, of course, the CFX stuff happened and just having a lot more scripts. Uh, there was actual bank heists. There was different heists you could do. There was a bunch of criminal activities. There was just way, way, way more on 5M than I'd ever seen on Rage MP. And I ended up playing on the server for quite a while. Uh, we actually didn't end up making a ton of videos on there because the server shut down after us playing on it for a little bit. But I remember we had made a gang or we had joined a gang and had some really, really close friends on there who we eventually went on to make a server with, which again, we'll talk about in the future. But honestly, I had a great experience on Limelight. Some of the best RP I've had since going on to Eclipse and stuff. I uh, still had an amazing amazing amount of RP, had some really cool stuff, was able to experience 5M and a little bit of a different vibe than Rage MP. Uh, the server, unfortunately, was quite a bit pay to win, which I wasn't really super used to. I believe there was like literal cars that people would pay hundreds of dollars for IRL. Um, I believe our gang leader at one point paid like 500 bucks for us to be able to use a certain drug or control a certain drug. There was a lot of weird stuff like that. Uh, the owner, honestly, was a very weird guy and honestly shouldn't ever run a server again. So I'm glad that he's no longer working there. Uh, and of course, Limelight did shut down only, I think, a couple months into actually playing it. But my time at Limelight was a ton of fun. Again, it was my first experience with 5M. Um, I think I had a shootout once that lasted for literally like two hours on there, which was absolutely insane. Of course, at the time, 5M was still getting developed. So that shootout, literally, we could get shot like 100 times in the desync wouldn't even count it so it was a little wonky but overall i had some really amazing times on limelight again as i said about three times already checking out 5m for the first time was a really breath of fresh air and kind of got me excited for the future of rp as well as my future in rp as well as making videos so it was a nice little boost and allowed me to get into a whole new sphere of our peers as well as rp content as well as new scripts that i had never seen before new heists i'd never seen before and completely new systems that were really never super popular at the time with rage mp and were never really developed for rage mp so kind of gave me a breath of fresh air into 5m and again allowed me to progress and be more excited for the future of rping in general now thinking about it back then i would have probably gave the server probably an 8 or a 9 or even a 10 out of 10 just because it was such a vast difference going from rage mp over to the 5m platform but honestly looking back at it now i'd probably give it a 6 or 7 out of 10 it had very very basic scripts but to me they were amazing insane scripts because again i'd never seen anything like it before um again similar to eclipse what made this server really really nice was the community there was a really really tight-knit community it felt like a super small server again there were a lot of people playing on it but it felt like a super tight-knit community where kind of everyone knew everyone everyone knew all the businesses all the business owners everyone knew all the gangs who ran the gangs where they lived where they controlled etc it just felt like a super tight-knit community and was honestly a ton of fun and today i'd probably give it a six out of ten looking back the scripts were very basic um the player count wasn't huge uh the players were pretty good decently rping but again not really a high high tier of rp but it being my first 5m server made it really cool but overall again i'm gonna give it a 6 out of 10 looking back at it nowadays and to what i would actually rate it um honestly overall super fun server again just getting into 5m and experiencing that was really cool and meeting a ton of people who i now even today will still call close friends was also amazing but that's about it for good old limelight again didn't last too long but was a fun time while it lasted the next server we're going to be of course talking about is going to be svrp or subversion roleplay another very short series that didn't last super long on the channel but i still had fun again not a ton happened on this server i was just looking to try out different 5m servers and try and find one that i wanted to make my home uh, i believe we played on there for just a small amount of time again just a couple months but i ended up joining a gang called the marabunta grande having some really cool rp again i think one of my first 
most RP gang experiences, besides, of course, Shadow Order on Limelight. Uh, but this is my first experience of people that I had never met before, and I had some really cool RP with them. We did this, we did that. I think we got into a, like a war or something at some point where I had to fight in vehicles, some weird stuff like that. Uh, but it was overall a fun time. Again, didn't make a super long series on there because I believe during SVRP is when we started development on Just RP. So I ended up leaving SVRP to go continue working on JRP and to try and make that into something really cool. But overall, SVRP was a fun server. Again, not a ton to talk about as we didn't play on there for super long. And it was just a server that I was kind of trying out to see how it would do on the channel, as well as how the RP experiences would have been on the server. But overall, it was quite fun. Um, again, we only made a little bit of videos on there, so not a ton to grade it off. I'd give it probably a 5 or 6 out of 10, 5.5 out of 10, just because, again, we didn't have a ton of information. Um, 5M was still still quite early on, I would say, at this point, although it was near the times of COVID, so everyone was kind of on the server. All the servers are quite active, and there was a ton of people to interact with. But overall, again, it was just a transitionary server. I'd give it about a 5.5 out of 10. I didn't have a ton of experiences on there. I had some fun RP, but overall, nothing too crazy to say about SBRP. I believe it's no longer running, unfortunately, but for the time being, it was a good time. But let's move on to, again, one of the other huge series I made right next to Eclipse RP, and that's going to be talking a little bit about, or most likely a lot about, Just RP. Alrighty, so after quite a bit of time and frustration playing on various different servers, such as Eclipse, Mafia, Limelight, SVRP, and liking and very much disliking different parts of either the server, staff, or the players on these servers, me, along with a couple other people, decided we wanted to make our own server so we could have stuff run in what in our minds was going to be the correct way, as well as, you know, create a good community for our peers, as well as content creators alike. So we decided to create a server and name it Just RP. Now, this was the first server and I think the last server that I have been, ever been involved with the staff on. I believe I was the community manager for Just RP, so my kind of job for this was to try and keep everything in order within the community, make sure it stays non-toxic, try and listen to the community's problems as well as find solutions to them, and just try and make sure the community was kind of good as a whole. And that was my main job on the Just RP server, as well as trying to give input to the admins, as well as the owners of the server on what I think, you know, could be improved on on the server, what features we should work on, what stuff we shouldn't work on, and, you know, kind of how I think the server should be involved as a whole now to be honest um it did go well for quite a while i think we went through even a 2.0 and a 3.0 on just rp where we kind of introduced huge updates and changes to systems i believe i did monthly recaps for a while on it going through all the stuff that was changed or updated on the server for each month uh we had a lot of fun i don't really think we did too much with gangs or anything because of course us being a server staff made it a little weird when we were involved in gangs or criminal stuff um which was a little bit of a downfall of being part of a staff for a server is people would look at you and interact with you a little bit differently than if you were just a of course a normal player on the server we had a lot of fun stuff we hosted a bunch of events i actually hosted one of my favorite events ever which i hosted this car show and we literally had over a hundred people there which at the time was really crazy to me seeing all those people show up for this event and all these people walking around checking out cars rping with each other having a fun time um i honestly had a ton of fun on just rp uh, i eventually stopped playing for a multitude of different reasons and later on the server was actually sold off without really telling anyone and eventually after that the player base declined quite a bit and the server kind of died off but honestly, my time on Just RP was really fun. I think we made an insane amount of videos. I made a ton of videos over on JRP. And I personally saw this as kind of a little bit of a creation, not of my own, but of one that I actually helped to work on. And I wish I had gotten, I believe I had a chance at becoming an owner at some point, and I kind of declined it saying I wanted to stay out of that stuff which in my opinion was a huge downfall. I should have tried to become one of those owners and eventually just run the server on my own if I needed to, because I had tons of plans for RP, but eventually I kind of got overshadowed by everyone else. I wasn't really able to have too much say and stuff. And eventually the server started going downhill. 
I had a ton of fun over there. We had really, really good community, in my opinion. We had a ton of people that were super into RP, a bunch of people that came from my channel as well as just people around, you know, finding the server and playing on it. I remember we literally had queues almost every day for a month or two. Like, we tried really hard to make a really nice server, but unfortunately, there was a bunch of weird stuff that happened with the owners, or specifically a owner, that kind of led to the downfall of the server. Now, again, I still want to create another RP server i've been thinking about it for a long long time i honestly should have done it years ago but i do want to create an rp server definitely for gta 6 i'm not sure if it's a good time to make one for gta 5 but i would love to try and try my take at making an actual rp server and being the main person making the decisions on it because i think i can make some pretty cool server in my opinion and hopefully make a place for people that can really enjoy rp so make sure you're looking forward to that if you keep watching the channel for the next couple of years i definitely plan on making one and hopefully some of you guys will join it and still be watching the channel by then but that's about it for just rp again i had an amazing time over there um i honestly wish stuff was done and ran a bit of different i definitely have quite a couple of regrets from being on the server but overall it was a ton of fun um it's kind of hard to rate this one since i was involved with the staff of the server but i definitely give it a good 7 out of 10. uh we had some pretty cool scripts most of the scripts were just bot scripts though that we had modified quite a little bit but again the community as i've said of previous servers is really what makes a server a server and i thought we had an amazing community over on just rp so again i'm gonna give it probably a 7 out of 10 could have done a little bit more if the scripts could have probably worked a little bit more on the staff but overall it was a really fun experience and i wish i had honestly taken that ownership role and tried to move the server forward a little bit more but hopefully in the future we get another chance at being either a higher end staff or a potential owner of a server and i can try and make something really good which again was always my goal for just rp but unfortunately at some point i just was not allowed to have too much of a say over this or that and in my opinion that led to you know obviously some stuff going wrong not putting the blame on anyone else of course i probably could have spoke up quite a bit more and tried to make my thoughts and concerns a little bit more known where i had failed on that but i think it's about it for just rp hopefully you guys did enjoy that long just rp series as well as anyone who actually played on the server and again nowadays it's unfortunately no longer a server it was sold off and then unfortunately the player base died soon after but hopefully you guys did enjoy what happened on just rp and our time there as well as the server as a whole but that's about it let's move on though to the next one now the next server of course no pixel 3.0 i can't really talk about too much i think we only made like four videos on the server uh, i had fun with it when i tried it out again this was kind of my first taste of no pixel as no pixel has always been the server that i've kind of looked up to is where all the big streamers are all the big content creators are and a ton of the best rpers around play on that server so this was my first chance to kind of have an idea of what it's like again this was on the public version of no pixel 3.0 so of course it it wasn't with all those people but it still gave me a little taste of no pixel and honestly i really really enjoyed it i had a lot of fun but unfortunately after the fourth episode or so when my subscription for prio ran out for some reason tebex wouldn't let me actually renew it for about i think two years before i was able to try it again i tried like three or four different kinds of payments and it would just get declined over and over again so unfortunately i had to cancel that series which really sucked as i was having a lot of fun on it but that's about it for the no pixel 3.0 again didn't play too long on there it was a fun time while it lasted but not really really too much to say about it i can't really give an honest review of it because i didn't play on it for too long but figured again i would include it in this just because again it was one of those servers that i did play on and it made a somewhat very very short series on but again that's about it for no pixel didn't really play on it enough to give it a valid rating with enough time so let's move on again to the next one Another server that was quite, again, a quite short series is going to be Echo RP. Now, I did play on this server quite a bit off camera as well as on camera for videos and had a ton of fun on it. Uh, I remember meeting up with some people who still to this day I consider close friends. We ended up buying ourselves like a little warehouse together, having some fun with that. Uh, there was some pretty cool crime stuff at the time. And I remember, if I remember correctly, they were doing a lot of criminal updates and a lot of updates in general on the server. And I believe 
believe the server to this day still gets updated quite regularly if i remember correctly last i checked they had two major criminal updates they had some civilian updates some pd and ems updates recently and seems to still have a super good population as well as seems to be a really good server in general again we played on there for quite a while um didn't make a ton of vids uh, i went i think all the way up till december 9th of 2022 i did end up making like a little checking back video in february 22nd of 2023 but besides that we didn't have a super long series on there either just had a lot of fun um met again some really really good friends and you know honestly just had some good rp here and there i think we eventually got tired and we had some problems with admins dealing with a certain scenario a little weirdly so we stopped playing on there for the most part but again echo rp was a fun time we did some heists we did some moonshining we did a bunch of different stuff here and there i believe we got our own warehouse and had that all decorated at some point it was a really fun series in general just a little bit of a shorter one as well as the next two but that's about it for echo i still give it a good 7.5 out of 10 as the server is a lot of fun they have a lot of really cool scripts they have a huge player base i think they have 350 people on the server at any time or i believe that's the max population so a pretty hard, large server as well a lot of businesses both legal and illegal a lot of different gangs a lot of different activities to do uh both big and small and honestly just a fun server in general we just had a little bit of issues with i believe with some of the rules as well as some of the staff at the time when we were dealing with some weird scenario that had happened but overall was a fun time to play on that server for the time we did play on it but that's about it for echo another one of the shorter series along with the next couple ones have been quite short series unfortunately due to this or that we just keep getting screwed out of trying to make long storylines for different various reasons which has been again probably very frustrating to you as a viewer as it is to me as a creator but it is what it is let's move on to the next one and that next server is going to be gold rush rp 3.0 we made a quite decent amount of videos not a ton but we made a decent amount of videos over on here i honestly had a ton of fun on there and was one of the first servers that i actually tried to make an actual gang for and follow through with it now the game went well for a while we got like a little underground area um it was one of the servers that i didn't actually end up spending a ton of time off camera and on as well just chilling with friends and doing this or that it was a really nice social server for a lot of the time uh and the stuff that came along with our gang i believe eventually we got uh what was it Ooh, we got nos that we were able to get uh, and installing cars we were also able to get like specific performance parts for cars that no one else could get and it was really really cool um, being able to offer those things again my first time having an actual gang of my own that I ran was really cool although due to myself I kind of messed up with the gang in my opinion I didn't run it correctly I was a little too lenient I wasn't doing enough recruiting we weren't getting enough people recruited to the gang I wasn't making sure people kind of did their fair share of this or that and honestly it led to us doing a lot of grinding but between that grinding, I had a bunch of fun with really fun our peers on the server. There's a lot of fun people to interact with. And eventually, once we were given that stuff, we just kind of had to focus on grinding and grinding and grinding, trying to be able to get these coins to be able to turn them into different engine parts or different brake parts or NOS or this or that to be able to sell to other gangs. And we ended up making deals with other gangs, had some really fun RP with that. But eventually, it just became way too grindy. And besides one member of our gang, Kyle, if you guys remember Kyle, Kyle Blow. He was pretty much doing all the grinding, kind of carrying our whole gang. Um, I kind of had stepped back in my opinion. I wasn't really focusing on the gang as much. I was kind of just playing on the server here and there. I wasn't recruiting more people. I wasn't focusing on our business as much. And overall, it was kind of my fault that that gang didn't kind of fully flesh out and i still feel bad again kyle blow if you're watching this video you were the mvp in that gang he did literally all the grinding i'd say about 90 percent of the grinding for the gang and kind of carried us through a lot of those down times so big ups to him but again eventually it became a little too grindy for us and we ended up leaving but overall it was a very fun server i'd probably give it a six out of ten um uh, my opinion's probably a little skewed because again we did end up just being stuck in this loop of grinding for these coins to try and 
and get parts for various different people and would literally get an order let's say on monday and we'd have to grind for like 25 hours 30 hours throughout the week to be able to fulfill that order on friday and it just became way too grindy again i could have recruited more people uh focused them more on different tasks and probably made it a lot whole lot easier but unfortunately i failed there as a gang leader but definitely learned a lot if i do want to create a gang in the future i learned a lot of downfalls of myself as well as myself running a gang and have taught me a lot about how to do it and how to properly do it in the future if i do attempt to try and make another one but I think that's about it for Gold Rush 3.0. Had a lot of fun with it. Unfortunately, I believe they did release a 4.0, but has a quite a low population count. I might check it out here and there in the future. But that's about it for Gold Rush RP 3.0. Let's move on again to the last two servers, which are two servers that I am still playing on till this day. And we'll talk about those now. So the first server out of the next two servers of the last two servers on this list that I'm going to be talking about is going to be Prodigy RP. Again, this is currently one of my favorite servers at the moment, but with their recent teaser of a potential 2.0 and potential wipe, I kind of have stopped playing on the server for the most part as of the current time, as I don't really want to get involved in an in-depth storyline and everything or get involved in a gang just for halfway through it, of course, to get completely screwed over over by a server wipe and kind of having to start over and i don't want to get halfway through a storyline once again to have it kind of shut down by means out of my control but i do plan on playing on prodigy 2.0 and making that my main server once it does release but honestly if i were to review prodigy in its current state it has a ton of really amazing features i have never really seen before such as a leveling and skill trees for both civilian jobs as well as the criminal side with the civilian jobs you're able to kind of like do each one of them level them up and once you get to certain points or certain levels within these legal jobs you're able to unlock new jobs uh, that are similar to the job that you're already doing so really cool progression system and honestly one of the coolest ones i've seen in quite a while and on the criminal side there's a full skill tree where you can unlock different skills and different abilities that you can use uh, as a player for four different i believe four different criminal skill trees so it's really really cool um, some super unique features on that server that i've been really loving uh, the community is amazing i always have great rp if it's if it's just like random rp when i run into people here and there or like big rp scenarios or events there's always full events of like 100 150 people at almost every event at least when i was playing on the server as well as just the general great random rp with people you run into and probably one of my favorite servers at the moment and i've been enjoying it quite a bit but unfortunately with 2.0 getting teased i don't want to input more time grinding the server as well as playing on it if all that stuff's just going to be wiped very shortly i am excited to main this server once 2.0 releases and i plan to make a ton of videos on it and have a ton of rp plans for it so be sure to look out for that now as for giving the server a rating there is a lot of seemingly broken or unfinished features which I think they kept unfinished or didn't fix yet because they've been probably working hard on a 2.0 or at least that's my copium with myself and what I think the server has been doing in the last like couple months because there hasn't been many updates at all besides a small housing update and a couple other small ones for like boom boxes and stuff but besides that the server really hasn't had any major updates recently which leads me to believe that they've been putting all of their time effort and dedication towards a 2.0 so I'm excited to see where that goes but to just rate Prodigy and its current state i'd probably give it a 7 out of 10 i'd give it a 10 out of 10 or probably an 8 out of 10 for features and a 10 out of 10 for community but again the features still draw me a little bit back as a lot of them are still broken or unfinished or there's a lot of stuff that you should be able to do or that you think you'd be able to do but just aren't actually in the game like for instance there's a certain hitman guy that gives you a rep or he says he'll trust you more if you do more missions with him we've done like 50 of his missions and still have not unlocked him and i talked to plenty of people who have done way more missions for him than me and he still doesn't unlock stuff so in my opinion it's a little weird that there was a lot of features that were like hey if you keep doing this you'll eventually unlock something but once you get to that point and you keep doing it and keep doing it you never unlock something which was a little disappointing but i'm hoping that a lot of that stuff is more fleshed out for 2.0 but again i'm gonna probably give the server i'd say a 7 out of 10 for the current state of it but hopefully 2.0 is gonna raise that rating up quite a lot but 
I think that's about it for Prodigy RP. Super fun series. Super excited to continue in 2.0 and make that my main server. And hopefully you guys enjoyed that series on there as well. I have a ton of plans for 2.0 and I'm excited to hopefully execute them well. Now, finally on to the last server. I didn't realize this video was going to be this long, but if you have watched to this point, I do appreciate it as always uh, for your continued support. And thank you for watching the videos in general. But... Finally, we're on to the last server, NoPixel 4.0. Now I've been playing on the server for about the last, I think, two months or so, maybe a little over two months at this point, and I had quite a bit of fun with it. Again, I have been paying for Pryo for a while. I think I just canceled my Pryo subscription. I still do want to make some more videos on NoPixel 4.0 here and there. The issue with it and the issue with making content for it is I believe the server is kind of set up for people who are playing on it like 12 hours a day streaming it. And unfortunately, with having to make videos as well it makes it a little hard since the video editing as well as making thumbnails making descriptions tags uh editing the video itself takes quite a couple hours it's kind of hard to spend enough time on no pixel to actually be able to make it worth it the server is probably the most grindy i have ever played on and the thing about this server is the grind for me at least isn't really that fun uh, it doesn't feel super rewarding like it does on prodigy or other servers that i've played on before it just feels like you have to grind for everything um a lot of stuff is locked behind having a house which usually costs around 300k plus and to get to that point it takes months and months of grinding so it's just really 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 grind focused which sucks um i get it's made for people who want to have longevity of the server but it being so grindy kind of put a lot of my love for the server out of it in my opinion i still enjoy it and i still do plan to make some videos on it before prodigy releases but i recently have been cooling down a little bit on it not having the most fun and again the rp is decent um it is a public server so you do run into those people those weird people every once in a while overall the rp has been pretty fun though on there but yeah overall for no pixel it's been a fun time a little little too grindy for me personally but i still do enjoy it a lot of the features are also like super in-depth um which is good and bad good because it gives you well, again longevity as i was saying for the server to try and figure out everything and figure it out correctly but the issue is that a lot of that stuff takes again weeks and weeks and weeks and weeks to figure out currently we were working on moonshining recipes for a bit and we did the math and it would take about i think like a hundred runs or a hundred and something runs to actually get a good recipe where you can make good money with and each one of those runs has like an, it takes an hour for it to cook and then probably another half hour to an hour for you to figure out the price and sell them and everything so it was a little weird but overall fun server little too grinding for me but still a good server nonetheless honestly i'd give it a rating of about six out of ten again it's probably a lot different on the whitelist server as there's a lot more rp there and a lot more events and a lot more people super focused on rp but at the current state i'd probably give it a six out of ten a little too grindy for me but very fun overall and i think that is going to be the last server we talk about just went through every single rp server that we've played on for gta and gave them a review hopefully you enjoyed it but i think again we are going to finally be winding down the video i figured again i would make this video going over kind of the history of us and the channel as well as all the servers we played through and my thoughts and opinions on our time playing on them so maybe if you want to check out some of these servers that are still active that i used to play on and kind of see what they were see my experiences um again i do have full series for every single one of those ones i had talked about in this video i didn't realize we made so many series on gtrp on so many different servers but i thought it'd be fun to kind of go through them and relive some of those moments once again so hopefully you guys did enjoy this video i do have plans to be making some more kind of these style videos a little bit different a little less of series based videos and more kind of one-off videos talking about this or that reviewing maybe some new servers coming out making some more possible top 10 videos and such on different kinds of servers out there and servers that you may not have heard of yet but I think that's about it for this video. If you guys did enjoy me going kind of down memory lane and exploring some of these old servers we used to play on, make sure to leave a like on this video. And if you want to, subscribe. And I will see you in the next video.